UTEP minor men's basketball rebounding nicely from that early loss to New Mexico State, going on the road and scoring a 73-64 win over Pacific on Friday night. For more, we bring in the UTEP minors head coach, Joe Golding. And coach, nice trip to California, I take it. Yeah, it was a great trip. You know, um, anytime you get a chance this early in the season to, to hit the road, uh, gives your team a chance to bond. Um, and, and I really thought going out there, uh, we had one of our better practices uh, w once we landed uh, the night before, and I thought our shoot around was really good. And um, I, I thought the prep was really good, put in by our staff, and our, our guys went out and executed. And uh, it was a really, really good road win. Anytime you can get on the road, uh, beat a good West Coast Conference team early in the season, um, it's a good sign for us. And especially winning that battle on the rebounding there, uh, getting a nice effort from Alfred Yeah, I was Collins hoping you weren't going to uh, mention rebounding today, man, huh? We've been on it three straight weeks, man. But we, we, we out-rebounded somebody, you know? So that was a good sign. We're obviously working extremely hard on that uh, behind the scenes. Um, our guys are, are understanding the, the importance of rebounding. Um, and, uh, you know, I was really proud of our guys for winning that battle. You talk about chemistry, though. I, I saw the video in the locker room after the game uh, of you getting down in there with the guys celebrating the win. We've been waiting for those patented dance moves, and I think we finally saw them there, Coach. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, the times, man, they, these guys have their phones on hand at all times, man. So uh, I, I haven't seen the dance moves, but my moves probably weren't as good um, as my previous moves. I need to work on them, man. I'm better when I practice a little bit. But I uh, just wanted to celebrate with the guys. Winning's hard. Uh, win winning Division One basketball games is very difficult to do, especially on the road. And uh, we want to have fun, man. We talk to our guys. Every season's a journey. And along that journey, we want to have some fun. Um, it's just not all business, man. And so uh, anytime you have a chance to get a win on the road, uh, we wanted to let loose and have a little fun. And I think it's our job to get in there with the guys and, and have some fun with them. Was that the first time the guys had, had seen the moves? Yeah, it's the you? first time the guys have seen me dance, man. So they're ripping my moves a little bit, man. And then uh, I need to work on them. I need to practice. I, I'm a, it's, it's, it's been a long five and a half months, man. I had a lot going on, man. I haven't practiced my moves, man. So, uh, but uh, I'll, I'll be better the next time. Is there a specific type, kind of music you like to get down well, to? Well, that's or? the other deal, man. You know, I got kind of used to ACU, man. I'm used to the same song every time, so I kick out and get my rhythm down, man. They kind of switch the music up on me here. <laughs> Who's the DJ in the locker room? Well, I think it's whoever's got the whoever's got the closest phone, man, to the speaker. <laughs> yeah, was, because, because I know you're getting a little kind of like a Shorty George kind of vibe. Yeah, down, it, wasn't, it wasn't very good, man. It wasn't very good. Like the two-step. <laughs> right, well, well, moving forward, keep dancing into tomorrow. You see Riverside and a little bit of a quad tournament here with Florida AM, and but starting it off with Riverside on Monday. Uh, this is a team real talented. Yeah, really, really good team. Um, you know, they, they had a winning record last year, had one of their better seasons in their program's history last year. Uh, they've already gone on the road and beaten Arizona State. Uh, they also went on the road, played San Diego State very, very well. Um, and so it's a team that we have a ton of respect. They have our utmost attention. Um, it's a quick turnaround for us. More importantly, man, uh, we continue to press. We need the crowd. You know, we, we need to continue to pack the dawn, continue to get people uh, to come to our games. I understand it's Thanksgiving as well. And so even though you have season tickets, you're busy, you might be out of town or you have family in town or you got things going on, you can't come to the game. We just ask that you give your tickets to somebody that can use, use those and, and can come to the game. So the crowd's become an important part of what we're doing. Our guys are very appreciative. I'm very appreciative and we're just very thankful. And uh, obviously when you have a good team like like Riverside in. It's going to be a great night of basketball, um, and, and we'd, lo we'd love a great crowd. Arizona State, really, it felt like they didn't take them seriously because Riverside was winning that, that entire whole yeah, game. Yeah, they controlled the whole game. Yeah, you're exactly correct, man. They, they won from, from to the tip-off to the, to the end of the buzzer, and so that just tells you how good of a team they are. And We obviously watched a lot of the Arizona State game, watched San Diego State, and then we watched a lot of the San Diego game that they recently played. And um, you know, I mean, you try to pick, a, uh, you know, as much as you can out for a scout and you try to, you know, continue to watch these tapes and just find ways where you can still two points here, three points here, four points here uh, on a swing and see, see if you can figure something out to give your team the best chance to win. And so, uh, you know, we're also kind of treating this uh, as a conference play deal. You know, we go Thursday, Saturday in conference. Uh, obviously, these games are on Mondays and Wednesday nights, uh, but we're kind of trying to treat that like it, like it's conference game. And so there's a lot going on in our program right now. You have to win your home games. You know, it's the most important thing you do. If you want to compete for championships uh, and you want to, you know, want to build a good mid-major program um, and, and one of the better college basketball programs in the country, you got to win at home. And so how do you win at home? You get really, really good players, and then you have a great home court advantage. So, again, uh, we've done our job so far at home, but obviously we're going to be tested on Monday uh, like we haven't been tested yet. All right, Coach. We'll be in the house Monday night and Wednesday night. Riverside and Florida a and A chance maybe to get five wins now by the end of the week for Joe Golding and the Miners. And then this weekend, Coach, I'm back uh, most likely to your, to your home turf over there in Midland. 
Do what? I'm back over to your home turf there in Midland this weekend. For, oh, what do you got uh, going school. on? High school football. You, you, you hey, got, hey, you hey, got hey, all hey, the love. the high school football report again real quick, man. Eastwood with a big win, right? They beat Boswell. Yep. Uh, so Eastwood's moving on. Got a big game, I think. Uh, I think Prosper, correct? Yep. Uh, uh, Canatia is going to play next Saturday, um, waiting on the winner of, of uh, the Andrews game. And obviously our thoughts and prayers are with the people out in Andrews, Texas, and, and, and definitely the band and the people on the bus uh, that were thinking about them. And, um, and, and uh, they're, they're in our thoughts and prayers. And then Canatia, obviously, with a big win. So, hey, we still got three, three left playing, man. So uh, we're, we're still going, man. This has been the UTEP Men's Basketball Coaches Show with head basketball coach. I'm going to have to get on the Friday football report next year, man. I would love uh, uh, to do city that, would, man. Go I'll have to get it in the would, car with you, go around to some Friday football games. Man, I'd love that, man. Coach, good luck tomorrow. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for your support.